From time to time, I like to have viewers come on the show and either bring in a beautiful specimen that they've grown themselves or else a plant that could use a little extra attention. Today with me, I have Anna Grizzard, and she's brought in her pothos that we're going to spruce up for her today. Welcome, Anne. Hi, Liz. How are you doing today? Very well, thanks. Well, I see you have brought in your pothos, mm -hmm. and it looks to be a little on the wilted side today. Um, how often do you water it? Uh, whenever I think about it, which unfortunately isn't frequently <laughs> enough. Okay. <laughs> Actually, as we, the best way really to water a pothos is to feel the soil about a half an inch down, which I see it is kind of moist right at the mm -hmm. moment we watered it this morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and when it is dry at that point, then go ahead and water it. Mm -hmm. Now this, your particular plant here is really root bound. I can see you can barely stick your finger, yeah. you know, through the uh, roots. So I think that we should repot it today. I also think another thing is, well, that would help out the plant a lot is pruning it. It's really kind of gotten out of hand. Well, here we've had this growing point. for years and uh -huh. haven't done anything to it other than let it grow. So I'm glad to have uh -huh. this opportunity to uh, give it some new life here. Uh -huh. Well, they are a hardy plant and they'll grow just about under any kind of care as long as you remember to water them sometimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and I think first we'll prune it up a little and what you should do at this point like this one is so long and there's no leaves left mm -hmm. you know in this section we're going to cut it all the way back okay. to the top of the pot and hopefully this one will will uh, sprout some new leaves out of here it mm -hmm. may or may not but mm -hmm. uh, getting rid of a few of those is okay, okay. we also want to take off some of the yellow and right. dying leaves which you can go ahead and okay. work on that, and I'll take some more of these off. All right. Let's see, now this one here, we'll just cut back about six inches. There's still quite a lot of healthy foliage on that. Okay. And it can, uh, you know, just needs a little bit of pruning up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here's another one that's real long. And yeah. has very few leaves except at the <coughs> bottom, so I'm gonna got bring them all that. over the place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'll bring some of them back all the way to the pot, again okay. with the intention that they're going to grow, uh -huh. start growing back out there. And the others will just take a little bit off of for now. Okay. And then in the future, as uh -huh. it's growing out, right. then you can cut it a little more off. And every couple months or so, you know, if you prune uh -huh. back, you know, a few inches here and there, that mm -hmm. should help keep it staying nice and full. Okay. And then with those cuttings, will they root in water? Uh-huh. We can save the cuttings and you can start a new plant. Okay. This. So just take off some of the longest ones now. Well, this one's really gotten out of hand. Oh, yeah. Well, I had to wrap <laughs> it up to get it in the car here today. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, this is another. Well, I'm going to just take a little off. Of this okay. Because we don't want to take off all your. Uh, we got some long ones here. All these guys here. <coughs> okay. There we go. Let's see. A lot of them are really long, like that. Mm hmm. Okay. And this is. Another one this of those one with no leaves for a long okay, time. We'll take this off too. Now, what we're going to do is repot it uh -huh. in a bigger pot, and this will give it more room. And it should start growing out of the I was top. I say, will it get fuller around the actual yeah, body uh -huh. there? And then, as the new leaves grow out, then you can cut some of these other ones off. Okay. that still don't look that great. And then, you know, just as a, a kind of a gradual in a gradual mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. as the new nice to give it a whole new shape mm -hmm. as it as it f becomes more full right. up here. Right. Uh -huh. But it's certainly salvageable. It's okay. it's done amazingly well despite uh -huh. the abuse it's received. <laughs> uh, how long have you had it? Uh I guess it's been about 3 years. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of ours moved into the house and brought a lot of plants and just left them when he moved out. <laughs> so it's an orphan. So huh? That's right. We, we, uh, we inherited this guy. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you repot a plant into a bigger size and in, is to uh, 
put a little bit of soil on the bottom and pat it down firmly. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to choosing a new pot, when a plant's ready to be repotted, I feel the best size for it is two inches bigger than what it was in before. For example, this was in an eight inch pot, you know, eight inches across the top, and I'm now putting it into a 10 inch pot, which is 10 inches across the top. And this should give it plenty, you know, of new room. Room for new growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can okay. see when you look at it, I wow. think you can see on the cameras that it's just full it's of roots. circular, like the, mm -hmm. the inside of the pot. Right, so this one, there's not even really any excess soil to take off. Now, so. normally you would knock off any extra soil yeah. to just leave the uh -huh. roots exposed. Should we do anything to these roots, loosen them up at all? Uh, in this case, they look nice down there. I'm just going to leave them just mm -hmm. like they are, and they'll start growing out probably very happily <laughs> on their own. Uh, in general, though, you would mm -hmm. want to loosen them up a little bit. Yeah, uh huh. You probably want to do that. And from the bottom, just a little bit uh -huh. is fine. Just to give them a little breathing mm -hmm. space in there. But these are so nice and tightly wound, we're just going to leave them alone. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we've got the plant sitting in the new pot, and it's sitting so that the soil line is going to be about an inch below the top of the pot so that when you water, you know, there's some space for the water to sit and then go down into the soil. And then what you do is you just take your soil and uh, put it around the sides. And the most important thing here to remember is that you want to pat it down firmly. You know, around the edges as you're doing this. It'll mm -hmm. take a lot more soil than you think. <laughs> and you don't moisten the soil before you put it in. You just go ahead and put it in dry. Right. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you know, we'll water the plant. Okay. And then hopefully it'll perk up for you <laughs> and start growing. I really think it will. These pothos are amazing. If it hardy. survived what it's been through, I'm sure this will be a treat for it. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Okay, we'll turn it a little bit. And with all these, uh, all the long vines coming down, it's a little bit tricky here, but we'll get it. Is there uh, any particular blend of potting soil that you recommend in general? Well, there are a lot of good uh, potting soils out on the market, and it's probably best, you know, to uh, you know, check around. Some of them are recommended, especially for certain types for of plants. That there are, you know, some nice all-purpose. Mm -hmm. you know, and a, soils. And a pothos mm -hmm. will just take an all-purpose. Yeah, <clears throat> a pothos will probably take anything. I think it will especially like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This little, these little white uh, things in here. What is oh, this stuff? Oh, that's perlite. Uh huh. And that's put in soil. It's like a soil conditioner almost. It helps aerate the soil because mm -hmm. it is important. So it doesn't get all compact. Right. As much as plants like getting water, they also like getting some oxygen and some air into the soil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the perlite, you know, aids in I that see. way. Make a little circulation. Right. Like we all could use. <laughs> Now we've almost got this here. And re remember again, to, as you do this, to pat it down firmly. I really can't stress that too much. I have seen people uh, just throw, so literally yeah. just throw it in and then water on top of it. And what happens then is the soil starts to sink, you know, and erode away really quickly. And the plants have a hard time getting a real thorough, mm -hmm. you know, saturating. Well, they wouldn't be getting any nutrients, I guess. Right. Yeah, the water, what will happen is the water goes like this over the uh, soil instead of through into right. the uh, root ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we're just about there. And uh, then we can water your plant. Right. It should perk up. And you can uh, be on your way. <laughs> Hang up your new plant. It'll be <laughs> just like having a new plant. Uh, now my other plants are going to be jealous. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me water that for you. Okay. Okay. All right. 
There we go. I'm putting a quart of water on this. This is a 10 inch pot and it doesn't have any drainage for the excess uh, water to come out, as you can see, but it should easily take a quart of water. And that should do it. Thanks a lot for bringing your plan on the show, Ann. Oh, sure. My pleasure, Liz. I really feel that it's got a lot of potential for recovery <laughs> <laughs> to be a big, beautiful plant. Great. One of these days, but you must water it. I will. I will. I promise. Okay. And remember what it's half, half inch, inch down. down. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, thanks again. And will you bring your plant back after it's grown out nice and beautiful for I us sure to will. see? Okay, great. Well, we'll see you then. Thanks.